Share an important memory that you have around trying to access healthcare. It was mainly in college when I was um, trying to figure out how to get the right support needed for just my own mental health. And the doctor there was really helpful for me. Um, she was very LGBTQ positive and she even advocated for me to get the, what are those things, like those shots for HPV so that I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> was that unusual, like that experience for you? Yeah, or? I've yeah. never had doctors ask me that stuff before where mm -hmm. they're like, you know, if you are part of the LGBTQ um, spectrum, you can actually get these for free because it's supported by the GMSH, mm -hmm. Gay Men's Sexual Health Alliance. Do you know if the doctor was like a part of the queer community or? No, no? not that I know of. Yeah, yeah, just acting in solidarity? Yeah. yeah. I wish she had her own practice outside of college because I wanted to see her still. <laughs> I think somebody who understands that not everybody is coming from like the same one size fits all kind of category because there are some doctors that just think, oh, you're a guy, so this is what you need for your own sexual health protection. There are a lot of doctors out there that I've had personally growing up that were just not very understanding of like gender and sexuality differences. They didn't really understand that like, well, my family doctor that I had growing up, he was just very, he assumed that I had a girlfriend. He didn't even think twice about the fact that maybe I go the other way. <laughs> I found that throughout the years, he just wasn't very supportive of even my own mental health. There were times where he was like, just surprised that I was always depressed and kept trying on different medications to the point where I was on five different antidepressants. And that was when I realized, okay, it's time to switch to somebody who actually is more open-minded and progressive. A lot of doctors aren't trained in counseling. That's what I've learned. And it would be helpful for, some doc for more doctors to have that training and understanding of queer mental health and sexual health as well. I used to work as a sexual health promoter in Toronto bathhouses in downtown. And a lot of the clients there would talk about how they wish they had doctors that were would actually listen to them rather than just be like okay what's the issue you have okay here's a prescription get out kind of thing because I've also had those doctors too and it's not really good to when you want to build a rapport with them because to me a family doctor or any doctor if you want patients to come back to you you really got to be able to be open to talking with them a little bit. One other thing is doctors, I wish they would refer people to places that do more counseling if they can't solve all their problems in 15 minutes. Um, because the system, the healthcare system is pretty, it really needs a lot of improvement, <laughs> to say the least. And I wish there was more free mental health care services for people as opposed to paying for it because they're being cheap. <laughs>